For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And life eternal, eternal life rests upon Jesus Christ. It never rests upon what we can do. But Jesus Christ of himself said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me are the words of Jesus, are the ways of Jesus, is the truth of Jesus Christ. Nowhere does it say in the scriptures run to religion to please God. The scriptures conclude that baptism comes after salvation, never before. That salvation is of God and no other. If you're to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, thou shalt be saved. For God so loved the world, the love of God. Many people want the love of God. The love of God is in John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave a charity, giving. God gave to us his love, and his love and his giving is Jesus Christ. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that Jesus Christ, the love of God, the charity of God, and of Jesus Christ himself. He said he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus Christ, who is the Lamb of God, the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world for a man that's a sinner. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. All men who are sinners will die. And in death, the Bible says that there is an afterlife. And the afterlife is heaven through Jesus Christ alone. Or it's hell by rejecting Jesus Christ. You see, a good church will get you into hell. Being good will get you into hell. Being baptized will get you into hell. But never faith and belief in Jesus Christ. That will get you into heaven. For the way of God is Jesus. The way before his throne forever is through the finished work of Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ came into the world to save sinners. Jesus Christ came to seek that which is lost. And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus, you are lost. And Jesus came to seek out that you might be saved, that you might believe on the Lord Jesus Christ to be saved. Salvation is of God. And God is Jesus Christ. And one may say, well, I go to church. There are good people in church. But church can't save you. And there are people who come up to us, well, I'm good. But are you good enough? Because in hell there are good people. And in hell there are good churchgoers. They are in hell because they did not put their faith and trust in the good of God through Jesus. Salvation going to heaven rest 
upon the name and the finished work of Jesus Christ alone. That Jesus Christ suffered and died according to the scriptures and was buried and arose again the third day according to the scriptures. That is what saves you. A church may be dead, but you don't bury it. Man will die, and you bury them. They're not coming up the third day. They're not going to show you the power of God. The same power that is in Jesus, who is God. You see, a church, even the proper church, a biblical church, is not God. Inside of a church, there are saved people and there are lost people. Inside, God is 100% God in Jesus. If you call upon the name of Jesus, whosoever shall call upon the name of Jesus shall be saved. You cannot call upon the name of a Baptist church. You cannot call upon the name of a Catholic church. You cannot call upon the name of an Episcopal church. Them names are not going to save you. But only the name of Jesus is a man able to be saved. And salvation is of Jesus. Salvation is not in a building. It's not in a man. It's in the man, Christ Jesus. There's one mediator between God and man. The man. Christ Jesus. Salvation is of God. And God is the author of salvation. At judgment day, at your dying day, you cannot and will not appease God by your membership. You are not going to satisfy God by your baptism. You are not going to overpower God by your goodness. But you will be allowed into heaven to your belief alone in Jesus. And only in Jesus Christ will you enter into heaven for all eternity. You see, there's a place for church membership there's a place for baptism. There's a place for being good. And that place is called hell. And there's a place called heaven through Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ through his blood is your only access to God. And without the blood of Jesus Christ, without faith in Jesus, you will not, you cannot enter a place called heaven. Heaven is God's throne Heaven is God's holiness. Something we are not. 
something as humans we cannot obtain holiness of ourselves. Because the Bible says, for all have sinned. There is no sin in holiness. And there is no holiness that sins. Jesus Christ, the holiness of God without sin. Suffered and died upon Calvary's cross. Taking upon man's sins. And nailing it to his cross. Through the blood. That he shed. For eternal life. It's a very fact that Jesus Christ left heaven. He left his throne. He left his father and was born 100% God, 100% man to seek that which is lost. And mankind is born lost. You are living lost. And if you have never put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, you are lost. You are in sin. And you are in trespass against the holy God. And you cannot enter into God's abode. You cannot enter before the throne of God in your sin. Unless you put your faith and trust in the blood of Jesus Christ that cleanses from all sins. In the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. For all men who have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is coming death. Death is more sure than taxes. And the reason why men die is because we are sinners. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. And that the wages of sin is death. That you need the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. See, you don't need to worry about COVID-19. You've got a worse disease than COVID. You've got the sin disease which will kill you. You can survive COVID. But you cannot survive sin. And even those that put their sins under the blood of Jesus Christ and come and be washed in the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world. You're going to die. Christians die. Because the curse of sin. Not everybody that gets COVID is going to die. But everyone that's born into this world as a sinner will die. Sin causes death. Sin causes COVID. Sin causes cancer. And the Lamb of God which take away the sin of the world is Jesus Christ. 
and Jesus Christ alone. The Bible speaks about Jesus Christ being the blessed hope. The Bible speaks about Jesus Christ being the way. The Bible speaks about Jesus Christ as the only access to God. And that through Jesus Christ alone is your only access before the holy and righteous God. That the Bible says, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Salvation, going to heaven, rests upon what Jesus Christ done, and not what you can do. The only thing that man can do is man can sin and man can die. And what Jesus Christ can do is he can save your soul. He can give you the access to God. That in Christ, when we do die, we can be absent from this body and present with the Lord. And without Jesus Christ, you will die and you'll wake up in a place called hell. Going to heaven or going to hell is forever. It's all eternity. It's time with no hands on the clock. And there's no way in hell that you can reverse your decision of rejecting Jesus. Once you enter the heaven, you, you're not going to want to reverse because you've done the right thing. You have Put your trust in Jesus. The way, the truth, and the life. But in hell, there are no second chances. There is no do-over. There is salvation through the blood of Jesus Christ and only through the blood of Jesus Christ is one able and will be saved. 